it's Alice in Wonderland. Sorry, I forgot. My mic is all the way over here. So, I don't know if you heard me the first time, but who likes Alice in Wonderland? Because I know my sister is a huge fan, and I give this to my sister once I am done the video. I thought this was really cool. So, if you are a parent or a teacher, and I think this would be great education for kids, because they get to learn a bit about Alice in Wonderland. This is an escape room. It doesn't say that it's an 18 plus, so I'm assuming it's appropriate. I'm gonna go through it first before I know it's appropriate or not for kids or for a certain age level. Um, I don't know for sure about the age level. That will be your judgment for a teacher. I found this on Etsy. It's an escape room for Alice in Wonderland. Okay, so I'm just putting this on for a second an Alice in Wonderland escape room. I bought it a digital version of it. And I thought this would be such a cool series to have for 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 you parents. This is going to be the Patreon that will be will be out there. Um, and eventually I'll do memberships. But right now, being a starter, I have it opened and available. I'm not going to put anything out there yet. Okay for you to pay it um but i'm ex or like i'm not gonna put any kind of monthly fee on the patreon i have a i have a spotify that's 99 cents a month if you want to go listen to that they're all about funny stories um there were christmas stories now we're gonna get some funny karen stories whatever it is you want to listen to Go check out my uh, Spotify and then my Patreon will have these on there. I might do some paid subscriber ones just because I, 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 I kind of want some of them to be a, sup a surprise for you guys, right? Um, anyway, so let's get into it. So this is the sheets. So it's on Etsy. Um, I'll put the link down in the description below to go if you wanted to go and purchase one. This uh these sellers have many different ones and this one is uh, an alice in wonderland um alice in wonderland escape room so here is the instructions and the, uh so hi thank you for purchasing this alice in wonderland escape room we appreciate your support so this is the sheet here we appreciate your support <clears throat> Here are a few tips to help you set up the game. Please read carefully. The game has three total attachments. Instruction manual, so the PDF, the escape room clues, tips and hints, as well as the solution. To set up the escape room, print the entire Alice in Wonderland escape clues PDF in color. So there's three different ones, or three different PDFs, and you'll print them all out, or it's best to print them all out. You can keep at least like this online, but you're going to need to, sorry guys, the, the lighting in here is not letting it focus, so like the instructions. But you're going to have to, you're going to need this printed because you're going to have to cut things, um, cut some paper, and then the QR code for the answer. So to set up the escape room, print the entire PDF, cut out all, all the clues and hide these around the room for clue two cut the cookie as instructed and scatter on top of 2d bowl this will be one clue and they will need to piece the cookie back together revealing a message for clue six the cards will need to be cut out individually and hidden together the group needs to solve the clues se sequentially starting from clue number one to the last one in order to find the magic phrase and escape. If you find a different color clue before you are up to that stage, you can set it as set it aside and return and return to it. Please note that sometimes a clue is only there to provide information for the next one. In that case, keep it, keep going. Once the group determines the phrase of to flee the escape room, they can scan the QR code or, uh, on the letter to verify their answer. If you can't scan the QR code, you can follow the link. Um, so the QR code is this page right here. Have, and this escape room is designed for one to four people. 
but if you have a larger group, you could divide them into teams, print two copies, and whoever solves it the fastest wins. There is a PDF with hints and solutions included in the case. In case you get stuck on a clue, do not read this document unless you need help or want the, or want to know the solution. Have fun and please leave a review if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or issues with the game, please get in contact. I am more than happy to assist in any issues you have, no matter how simple or complicated the problem. Awesome. So that's page one. We'll get moving on. So I'm just going to... Cut this out. So, so we gotta set this up. So we gotta cut along the um, lines here. Okay. I'm just gonna listen to me cut, I guess. Uh, How was your guys' new year? I'm curious to hear about it. Love to hear about it. I love, um, and do you like Christmas or New Year's better? I'm curious to know what you have in mind or what your preference is. I know I prefer, um, Christmas over, sorry. I know I prefer Christmas over, um, New Year's. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the Christmas cozy feeling compared to the New Year's party feeling, I guess. If that makes sense. I'm a huge um, curl up in bed kind of person. Not too often because I just noticed like myself today feeling anxiously bored. So I was like, I don't know, so I was like, let's, let's do something to be fun or whatever. Okay. I just want to make sure these, and they don't, I don't think they have to be perfect, and you can always print new ones out, print new copies out or whatever. I think this is a cool Alice in Wonderland game. Um, now let me know, are you guys have more of a preference to um, board games, escape rooms, cards? I'd love to hear more about that. I'll be honest, I like board games. Or if you're a gamer, if you listen, if you do Mario Kart or Mario Party or or um, Halo, Sea of Thieves. I think 
Diablo das Destiny. Oops, it's not long. I don't know them all, just because, like, my boyfriend's a big gamer. I don't, I'll play Mario Kart once in a while. I like Mario Kart. It's always fun. Or Mario Party, if you get really competitive. Lately, I've been into Dungeons and Dragons, stuff like that. I have not watched Critical Role yet, but have been tempted to a couple times, especially on the way, like to like on a road trip, just because they are like four hours long. Okay, I'm almost there. I wanted to cut these out with you guys there, so you knew. Like what to do kind of thing. So that is one instruction. And then after this, I'm going to go straight into the, the hints or the clues. And I'll show you what that looks like and the solution. You want to try to not look at the solution. You want to look at the... Um, You just, you just want to look at the hints and try to figure that out. So this one might actually take some time, which I'm okay with as long as you're okay with that. Okay, let's finish you off here. Okay, so if I cut out. I'm not going to hide them in the room just because it's only me and I'm walking you through an escape room until I can have more people. This one will just be a special occasion I think. No, these ones will just be like more on just for fun like one once a month or once twice twice a month we'll see because uh, I have ideas for other board games and I have other preferences for, for board games in a sense so Okay, so these are all cut up from a heart to many pieces. Let's say they were hidden. Let's look at the clue. Clues. So there's the hints, slash clues, and then there is the solutions. So those are the ones we want to try to avoid looking at. So clue number one says introductory message Hint, read the message from the classic Ch Cheshire or Cheshire cat and follow the instructions stated. So, I think you can hear it. Okay. So it says, welcome to Wonderland, a fantastic world full of dreams and imagination. The Cheshire cat informs you that Alice is in trouble. She has gotten smaller. You must take a trip down to the rabbit hole and find the phrase to get Alice back to her human size. You have 45 minutes to solve clues and uncover the solution at the heart of the Wonderland. Assemble the eat me cookie to reveal your next destination. Siri put on a 45 minute timer. <clears throat> so, so we got to assemble the pieces into a heart cookie, a heart shaped cookie that I just unshaped <laughs> back into a heart to see what, um, what the, what the phrase says. Let's see, this shouldn't be too, too difficult, I hope not. No, you, no. Let's see here. 
be nice to have like a separate table so you guys could see what I'm doing. But it's hard to do that right now. Okay. Let's see here. Nope. Oh, okay. There's one little piece. You gotta remember it's a heart, so it's not like it's an easy puzzle to figure out. And then we have this one. No. Oh, maybe. Okay. I think this goes here. Actually, I think this is the... No. Why is it so much... Why is it so hard to put it back together? Okay. Hold on, I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I had to do a favor for my mom. So we're gonna do this now quickly. This might be an hour long. This one, I'm not 100% sure. Don't, that's not right. It will be 100% for sure long. An hour long or long. So this is here. Where is it? Okay, here we go. I got it. I think. No. Maybe. You. No. Oh my god, this one's hard. Trying to do this puzzle. <laughs> this is a hard puzzle. I don't know. It shouldn't be this hard. <clears throat> there's literally five pieces. Oh, there's. That's, that might be why, actually. There was a piece missing. Okay. Okay, so this is this way. Oh yeah, see yeah, that works. Those two there. Okay. 
Let me find one that ends up being like the best one, you know, tends to work. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. The one that was missing. Oh, okay. There we go. Found another piece that works. Okay, this one kind of has to work. No, okay. I wish I could show you guys what I'm doing. I really do. Take this one. No. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so let me have Okay. Weird because it's not a heart like it was. You know this one works together because it's garden, right? So we need Is another piece missing. Thing is it? it kinda seems like. Okay. Okay, I can't figure this one out. <laughs> I am not good at puzzles either. Nope. Gotta make sure I'm not missing any. So, we have that. That works. So the next clue, okay, there we go, that. Oh, 
Okay, here we go. We're getting somewhere. No. Uh um. Yes. Okay. So it says. Hmm. Something is not adding up in terms of it being a heart. Anyways, it says, look, okay, here we go. Look for the next. Okay, so it's kind of a heart. Look for the next clue. So, as you can see, um, oh, I have an idea. Don't mind the mess. So it says, look for the next clue in Alice's garden, which I could have just told you guys, but I wanted to do the puzzle. I might speed it up a little bit when I edit, but we'll see. Yes, it might just be hearing me talk for a little bit. Okay. So there's that part. Ah. Everything falls when you have a smaller table. <laughs> It's the worst. Okay. So that's that's fun. Okay, next is clue number two. Assemble oh, Wonderland plate and cookie. Hint assemble the pieces into a heart shaped cookie. Okay, oh, never mind. We did that. So now in Alice's garden. What phrase can you put together? The first two words are look inside. So we'll go to her garden. And I wonder if any of these, if you guys know what references, if there's, are, if there's any references in, um, in, um, If there's any references in this, in Alice in Wonderland, like quotes and stuff. Sorry, I'm trying to distract you there. Okay, so Alice's garden. Look inside. Okay, so it says look inside. The cat's, the cashier cat's teeth. Look inside the cashier cat's teeth. Okay, yep. Yeah. So we gotta look inside his teeth. So number two is the cashier cat. Use the hint information in the cat's teeth to help you solve the next clue. So this is the garden. As you can see, it says inside. Look inside the cashier cashier cat's teeth. I don't know how to pronounce the cat. If you guys know. How, let me know in the comments below. I would love to learn the proper pronunciation. So we got 30 minutes to go through this. Again, okay. So the cat's teeth. Here, of course, we have the name. So number five, the chessboard. Hint. Think about the order and placement of the card suits. How does this relate to the information included? For? Oops. My Siri was listening. Okay, so you hit so the chess board. Oh, I don't need you. Okay. So this is the chess board for clue five. As you can see here, 
And we have the cat. So obviously there's numbers on the feet. So that means something for here. So if we had, I'm going to use these as markers because I don't have one. So we're looking at C7. So there's a heart. Um, actually, we did have a pen, pencil. Okay, here we go. Paper. This is me being lazy. Please tell me I have a sheet. I do. Okay. So we have a heart. And then that's C for C7. We have H8, we have spades, I'm going to just write that out because I am not a good drawer for H8, G5, we have clubs, and D6, we have a diamond. Okay. Cool. Now playing cards. Order the playing cards in correct sequence and take note to the colored circles. Okay, how does that it? <laughs> oh I see. So we gotta cut these. So there's playing cards here. This is going to be fun. Okay. We might just cut the two. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So it has one of each. I mean, I didn't need to cut it. I don't know. So now we have playing cards. Order the playing cards in the correct sequence and take note of the colored circles. Okay. So in the correct sequence, we have the heart, so yeah, I'll need to cut these, which is orange, so we're finding Alice, right, so the heart is orange, and then we have the spades, which is red, Edgy. Spades is red. And then we have the clubs. It's green. And then we have the diamond, which is red. Okay. Okay. Tea party, hint, find the correct order of colors and follow the right path to continue. So, this is, the tea party, find the correct order, so this is number seven. Okay, so we have find the correct order of colors and follow the right path to continue. So we have blue, green, blue, red. That's so confusing. So we have red. So we have red, go back three clues, unwrap the time, cipher solve the wonderland riddle. Oh gosh, okay. 
that one. This one's going to be, I might need a solution for this one because I'm not good at riddles, but we'll see. So find the correct order of colors and follow the right path to continue. So does blue count? Because there's no blue. That's where I'm confused. Oh, there is blue. Diamond is blue. Well, and then clubs are green. Spades were red and then orange. Okay, I mixed, I mixed that up. Okay, so we have blue. Then we have red. And then we have green. Then we have orange. Then we have red. Then we have green. Then we have blue. Then we have orange. So eight. Then we have another orange. So nine. And then red is 10. Green is 11. And blue is 12. So this is what I did just to make life a little more in less confusing. So, so we have these colors here, right? And we're going in the right order. So we have blue. So then I put one by blue. And then we had red, two, three, four, five in this order here. Okay, so G, B, so So then we have blue. So let me just see through the cards. Blue, let's go over here. Blue, red, green. Find the queen in court and the crown. Alice in Wonderland. So we have blue, green. Or red, green, orange. And then we have red, green, blue, orange. And then we have orange, red, green, blue. See, that doesn't make sense to me. Heart Harold. So find the correct order of the color and follow the right path to continue. Using what though? Okay, this one I'm going to need the solution just because I'm not, I'm not too sure what that means. Seven, solve the Wonderland riddle. This is because the color letters at the start of each word correspond to, to the order established in the previous clue the two other options are just to confuse you now solve the wonderland riddle clue eight and the answer okay so we solve it in riddle number eight that's where i was confused okay so then we have No, that doesn't make sense. I don't need that solution again. So, clue the number of three paths to choose from, but only one is the correct choice. This being solved the Wonderland riddle, this is because the color letters start at the s of each word correspond to the same order established in the previous clue. The two other options are just to confuse you. So now solve the... Okay. Within the heart, spades, cl clovers, and diamonds. You need to organize the playing cards in this order, which gives you a new sequence of color. These are in order. Oh, so you gotta go. So it goes orange. So clue six. By these boards, clue number five, you will need to... Okay, this doesn't 
I'm not gonna lie, that one was still is confusing to me. So if you guys end up getting this board or this one, let me know. Um, as I'm just walking through this with you guys, we got 18 minutes to go, so I'm not too sure. I don't quite understand clue number seven, a hundred percent. But if you guys understand it, please let me know. So next is. I'm sneaky and kooky. Oh, yeah, number eight, Wonderland Riddle. If you are having trouble finding the correct answer, use a device to search for the solution to the riddle online. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm sneaky, I'm kooky, and just a little mad. My job is to confuse anyone who ventures through Wonderland. Who am I? Now, if you know Wonderland, you guys should know this. So it's either the White Rabbit, the Cheshire Cat, and the Mad Hatter. I accidentally read this one, so I know the answer. It's the Cheshire Cat. Um, so it's that. It's B. So that one was easy. Number seven, I still don't understand 100%. I understand using these cards to correspond with the, the colors on the front of these letters. I just, or is it like... You know, I don't 100% understand it. But anyways, choose one. Join us for a tea party. Choose one path. Go back three clues. Unwrap the time cipher. Solve the Wonderland riddle. Use the information to guess. See? See, that's where I don't get it. Okay, anyways. Moving on to clue number nine. The maze. Use your solution from the riddle and stick to the path you take and don't forget to collect the letters as you go along so let's go see does it make sense to me oh, so i'm going to take a random spot Then hint, follow the instructions to find the five word phrase. Use the time cipher to unscramble the. Okay. So let's do this then. The first word is two letters. Scan the QR code on clue one and enter your answer into the passcode. Oh, so that's cool. Okay. So there we go. Let's say we do start with the red. No, we'll, yeah, we'll start with the red. So we'll go. <coughs> so I'm going to write this down. So D, F, Y, T. G O L E W O P S T G B I U F so I want the this route here, the red. So it's D, just so you can see here. Not lighting, so good. So D F Y T G O L E W O P S T G B I U F to this guy here. I'm assuming that's correct, because you could choose your path. Again, very confusing. Not very explanatory for that one. And then use your solution riddle and stick to the path you take. And don't forget to collect the letters along the way. So I did that. Now hint, follow the instructions to find the five word phrase. In and scan the QR code on clue one and enter your answer into the passcode. So this is what we have to figure out from. And then now we have 13 minutes left, guys. 13 minutes. 
now it's saying so on back to going back to hint one you are to go to the QR code so this is what you have okay please enter the passcode to escape from Wonderland so that would be the code I gotta get off of here but I'm just confused okay sorry I just do need to look at the solution so the one thing I don't get is the hit because follow the instructions to find the five word phrase the first the first word is two letters scan the QR code on clue one and enter your answer into the passcode so for the maze you need to follow the direction leading to the Sorry, I'm just looking at the solution. For the maze, you need to follow the direction leading to the to the Cheshire Cat, which I'm pretty sure I did. And you should collect the scrambled letters in this order. Dude, I didn't go to the Cheshire Cat. Oh, no, I did not. That's why. So I gotta go. So these are all the passcodes to try to get out, but it looks like the Cheshire cat is the pink one, not not this guy. Obviously, he's not a cat. So we'll switch our. I just had to use the solution just because I was totally lost there. <laughs> so we'll get the so it's J R N B R N. Y, Y, Z, N, Q, U, R, E, R. Okay. So now let's see. J, R, oops, R, N, E, R, N, Y, Y, Z, N Q U R E R invalid. Oh, it's all uppercase. That's why. So make sure when you put these passwords, it is all uppercase. I think they should kind of say that. N E R N Y Y Z N Q U R E R. What? So, oh, I see. Okay. Okay, never mind. I got that wrong. So, these are not the passcodes to let you. So, you gotta find the corresponding on here. So, for example, J here. Now, J is a W. So it is a phrase that we have to find. That makes sense. Okay. Rereading the hints and everything. So now J is a W. Again, we have nine minutes left. Um, R. This is E. Lee, okay, so Lee, N is A, E is R, R is E, N 
is A because we just did that. Y and Y. No, we need it on the top. All. A L L. Z is M. N is A. These are fun. I like these. D, U, H, R, E, so there's two E's, we are all mad, H, so we gotta find A, E, so it's a replacement for R, and the code or phrase is we are all mad here did we save her did we get her congratulations alice or I meant, did we get her to her normal size but alice has returned to her normal size and you have successfully completed your adventure in wonderland well done that's awesome i know i kind of cheated a little bit just trying to figure out the the ins and outs and the rights and the wrongs for you guys walking you through an escape room these are a lot of fun to do I find, I find the ones that you go in person are probably way more fun than what I'm doing here. However, if you have a group of people and you make one up and you do something or you do something like this, this is really fun. And we got it in, done in seven minutes to spare. Let me know if you guys, by the way, you could buy this one on Etsy. I just did today. I don't know where she's from. Um, but I like Alice in Wonderland. This one seems like a fun one. I like the little adventures. They're kind of like you make it, it's not really you make up your own, but you have one given to you and you just go by the book. And if you don't get it done in 45 minutes, well, you know, it's so ill, I guess. I don't know. I'll do this again in a couple weeks just with my friends and stuff and my boyfriend. And um, we'll go through it all again and it'll be lots of fun. I still don't get the tea party one. But, <clears throat> like, were we supposed to end with, like, because there was no pink in this, so that's why I was really confused. Or was it, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, doesn't make sense to me. <clears throat> but, overall, it was interesting to learn. I can't wait to go and do another one. You guys have an incredible evening. We'll make these ones maybe more exclusive to two members at some point later on down the road. Not right now, though. I want you guys to enjoy yourselves. Watch me mess up a lot, I guess. No, I'm kidding. But I'll have a great rest of your evening, and we'll chat soon. Bye now.